Coming up next in the UFC welterweight division matchup. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, to get us started Ladies with the official introduction, this here is Bruce Buffett. Event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of Mumbai, India, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, drop them. words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me, I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh my goodness, <laughs> and you laugh just like that, because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grapple with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado, I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. <laughs> Slips to avoid the right. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Attempts the front kick there. Big kick. Oh, there he goes. 
Rios attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. And they separate. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, nice straight left there. Three minutes to go. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Let's go. Set up oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Good punch. Ball oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Just out of range with that left hook. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there, as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Well placed kick there by Lee. Now he touches him with the left. Nice sneaky head kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Tat, who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the center. I mean, line. it was defensive brilliant. Yeah. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as his opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast understanding of defensive fighting. 
Nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Bleeding from his cheek now. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he was trying to take down Espin. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He loaded up there on that high kick. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, collar tie. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Good stick. Straight right hand now just misses. Check the high kick. Stay sharp. Let's get that head down. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Such a fast leg kick. Big shot, man. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. You got to check these low leg kicks. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. <laughs> Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Big head kick. He goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, to fit them, and make the fight happen where he's working. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high and getting the desired result.
Nice work. Nobody's did that guy like you did. Keep doing that. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big kick lands. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. He gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. with a kick. Let's get some Let's get going. He blocks the punch. Keep your hands up, Come on now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this Another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Caught that kick there. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Try to establish that jab. Keep busy, keep busy. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And he continues to work the body here. Punch over the top. Beautiful body kick. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Punches block. Lee gets caught by that frustrate punch. Nice job by the offense there. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Got the single collar tie. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's gotten his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? All right, feet on the hips here. He gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. And he caught the kick. Nice leg kick land. Twenty seconds left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 
Ooh, what a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the Ready. roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Big kick land. Lost the strike there. Counters with a jab. there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, what a head kick. Knee strike there is blocked, so no damage inflicted. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Beautiful strike. Nice body kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Huge block there. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. There's no tell on that leg kick. Just over two minutes now to go. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Starting to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. The right hand just misses. Beautiful punch. Oh, lands a big left hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. This is with it there. We got the takedown. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Let's try it. Let's try it. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel right next to his opponent. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Ooh, right in 
to side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds. Final seconds here. down, potentially five to go. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big punch lands for the middle. Liver kick. Keep busy, guys. Keep busy. Just out of range with that kick attempt. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Watch the shot. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Big roundhouse now just misses. Nice. There you go. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. No, you hit him first. Big head kick land. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Look at how he turns his hip when he throws that kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Beautiful body. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Keep moving. That's a big strike right there. Trying to double up on that jab. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Big kick lands. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Two minutes now to go in this one. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, blocks the shot. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, what a head kick. Looking to land the right hand. He misses. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. 
no wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. And they separate. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to beat the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.